Hi, in this video I'm going to be using the photo restoration neural filter. I'll be making selections outside the filter and then bringing them in so I can specify exactly what I want the filter to do. This is great stuff and it kind of does half the work for you. Personally I like to do a restoration from top to bottom without any AI but I'm really starting to dig this photo restoration neural filter. So stick around and have some fun. I got my cup of coffee. Let's get on it. Cool. In this video, I'm going to show you what you can do with selections in a neural filter with the photo restoration filter. So what we'll do is we'll make a copy of the layer. And I pre-made my selections. So let's go under select, load selection. And first, I'm going to do the soldier. So anything that I do in the neural filter will be affected, but just on the soldier. So let's go to filter, neural filters, and go down to the bottom to photo restoration. It'll begin right away to start doing something. We'll wait for that. Now, it has just done the soldier. What we'll do is we'll do the scratch reduction. Let's bring that up to about 75%. It'll process on your device. And bam. Now, of course, the rest of the restoration will have to be done by hand, as it doesn't quite do the right job. But anyway, let's go to Smart Filter for Output, and hit OK. Let's take a short break uh, for our eyes here, so we can uh, get back at it in a bit. I'd just like to remind everybody to please like, subscribe, ring my bell for all future videos that are coming up. Thanks. Now, what we can do is do a stamp visible layer and we'll select just the background this time so i'll load my selection background so now let's go back up to filter neural filters now it's going to do the exact opposite of what it did in the first one it'll attack just your selection of the background so let's go to photo restoration And it's cleaned up the background. Now what we need to do, make your scratch reduction about 75%. And bam, the background is done. Now what I like to use on either of them is the halftone artifacts reduction. Just kind of smoothens and cleans things up without blurring anything too much. So it'll process on your device. And half the work is already done for you. The photo restoration neural filter, I think, is a great filter. It's coming along, but for my personal taste, I still like to do everything by hand. So, output, smart filter, hit OK. And there we have it. We've stacked two of them. There's the before and there's the after. Cool. Thanks for sticking out to the end of the video. That turned out quite well. It's a good beginning for when you want to do photo restorations. If you'd like to see me do the whole picture from top to bottom and colorize it, let me know in the comments. Thanks a lot. See you soon.